what you're seeing is completely fake. I'm going to show how I did it, step by step. That's right, I did all of that using AI. We're gonna break down how you can do the same, and there's a guide down below, if you click down below to get this for free, and we're gonna go through all the different platforms to do this for your own business. So let's break down. What are we talking about? Well, we're going to use HeyGen and Eleven Labs. HeyGen is a platform where you can scale video creation using AI-generated avatars and voices. Now, Eleven Labs allows you to generate AI voices, so you can generate or clone your own voice or translate it into tons of languages of your choice. To, give, to begin with HeyGen, you can click down below. You can start for free. That's our affiliate link. And we're going to go through the process of how we would do this. Now, what we're going to be showing you is how to create a basic script and how you can bring in other data so that way you can be talking to individual people, like this video. Hey, Sabrina, my name is Doc Williams, and I just received your submission about a custom application you want to build for your business. I saw that your business is about consulting. Can't wait to talk to you on Monday to hear about all of the ideas that you have and how we can turn this into a reality. At Brand Factory, we create custom applications for your business. For your unique business, after looking at what type of business it is, the application would start at 500. Can't wait to talk to you. That video is showing that I did a basic script, but I input certain people's names and what they're looking for, and then it generated it using HeyGen. Also, just like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we created that using HeyGen and Eleven Labs. And we're gonna show you the difference of HeyGen's voice versus Eleven Labs. And you tell me in the comment section down below, which one do you prefer? Which one sounds more lifelike? To begin with HeyGen, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click Get Started. You're going to log in or sign up. And then you're gonna be taken into the dashboard and really the homepage of what you can be doing here. The homepage is gonna let you see recent projects on what you were working on, different learning guides to so use AI Studio where you can do more edits, the video avatars, AI voice, and video translation. And if you wanna use other avatars as well. If we look under video avatars, this is where you can create your own avatar and go through the process to do that. You can also do streaming avatar where you can have a conversation with an AI experience with an avatar, or you can have AI voice right here. We're gonna be focusing on two main areas. Number one, the video avatar. This allows you to create the avatar that whatever lines you feed it, it can start reacting like you, and it can be lifelike. Here's an example of mine. Hey, Doc Williams, your instant avatar is ready. Feel free to create videos with it. Also, click the feedback button to share what you think. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so it's giving me a preview of who I am, and it's just talking to me, saying, hey, Doc Williams. but from there, once we have the avatar, we can then go to the AI studio, go to create with AI studio. We pick what we want to do, and we can even generate a script from uh, OpenAI, but we're going to just do uh, landscape. And then this is going to allow us to bring in our person right here, right? And then here, we can click this section right here for the audio and then it will allow us to change out the script. So we have the avatar first, so we can pick the avatar, I'm picking me, right? Then we go into the script, what do I want it to say? Then we can also look at, are we gonna add text? We can add different elements, things like that, or assets. But for us, what we're doing a lot of times is we're just creating the script and then we're exporting it and then we're putting it into something else. Either we're doing it in CapCut or something like that, but remember, you can create this and do a whole presentation, bring in your slides, create your own just based off of yourself. And that way you're not going to the studio needing all of these things. Once you have that avatar, you can have all of this great experience. So that's number one, using the AI studio. And again, we, we have those versions there. But what I really think is revolutionary, especially with businesses, would be the personalized video. Here, you can create uh, you can record once and then reach thousands of people because you put in a script, you're able to upload who you want to talk to, use their names, everything like that, why they need to contact you, and then go from there. So it's really personalized. Um, to create this, 
you first need to have a list. So a contact list right here. So we have a contact list in Google Sheets where we have names, emails, day of the week, if we're gonna have that in the script, um, and then other areas that we're gonna be adding into the script. And then we're going to be able to bring it into a project. Let's look at it here. So if we cl click create new project, we can have a couple different options. We can use the original video. So that way it just allows us to have just our face and we're talking to them. Highlight contacts first name. This is really powerful. We've seen this with other platforms that allows you to just bring in the person's name on screen like Bonjoro or others. But the connection of your name and then someone saying your name in the video, it's pretty powerful. So you can highlight the contacts first name or show contacts website. So this is really good if you're trying to generate unique scrolling videos for each contact, show that you really care about them. If you're saying, hey, I've already done an assessment of your website or how you can be better at SEO, I was taking a look at this, let me know if you want a free you know, auditing session or something like that, really shows that you can scale what you're doing and reach tons of people without recording the video over and over and over again for those different things. And the last one is feature products, your um, feature products, your contact previously showed interest in or screen share recordings that you tailored for them. That's really good if you're um, tying in the content that they've already previewed, if you're showcasing them a house or something like that, if you're uh, a realtor and you're saying, hey, we already visited this house, wanted to show you the view of what it would look like at night uh, when you're relaxing with your family, you know, or when the sun's going down or something like that. You can do all those things, but plugging in that information. So depending on your use case, you can pick a template, but let's just pick the original. Here, how do you wish to import your contacts? You can do it with automation, but for, for the first start, we are just gonna upload a contact list. So what you can do here is you're taking the Google Sheet, you go to File, Download, and then you can just download it as a CSV and then import it into HeyGen if you want to. So we're going to do that for a second. We're gonna have, bring in, some information. And once you bring in the information, depending on what information you want to track or the variable, so what do you want it to custom, what's the custom thing that you want it to say, you can bring in whatever. So like first name here, email, you track it to email. So you're picking first name, email. That's at least the two variables that you need, but then you can add more variables. So we have day of the week, type of business in price. So we can create like day underscore of and then week, have that. We can do the next one, type of business. And we can have one more, which would be um, starting price, starting price. Then we enter. So based on that, we have the day of the week, we can select it starting price right there, and then type of the business, type of business. So then when we're bringing in a script or we're bringing in our content, it will be able to map it out directly what we want. So we have the contact list, the personalization, then we can record or upload the video from there. Once we record the video, and by the way, there's a link down below. We do this for a full breakdown of showing you how to do all of these things. Just down below, you'll see all of those things. After you prepare the video and uh, customize it, then what it will look like is this. You'll have a personalized video that will be with the person's name. and I'm talking right there, and then we're going through it, and then you you have it. Now we can send the email if you want to, and it will send to the person directly, so I can send it right there. And then the email sent, and I can see when they, if they've opened it, if they've seen the landing page, if they've watched the video yet. So that's really cool, but now we can see how well it's working before our next next batch. Maybe we wanna, we wanna change some things. So. This gives you a lot of custom, uh, just custom things. You can also add contacts if you want to. You can add more from a CSV file or uh, enter contacts information directly. 
this really allows you to scale prospecting for warm leads. I really think this is really impactful because now it just takes, you need to capitalize on all of the time, those little seconds of someone just tuning you out. The, this will allow you to have a little bit of an edge when you're having personalized videos, being able to scale and all of those things. So the personalized videos, I love it. And then what we did was, as you saw at the beginning, having a video avatar, if you're doing content creation, all of those things, um, it really allows you to scale on, on everything that you're doing right there. So with our fake YouTube video, we did a combination of um, Hey Jen. And then what I wanted to show you right now is the difference of just Hey Jen with their voice and then using 11 labs. Okay, so now you saw the difference of Hey Jen and using their voice AI and then 11 labs. Now you might be asking, okay, so what can 11 labs do for me? Well, again, this allows you to convert text to speech, but also you can upload and have a library of your voice. So now you can clone it and do tons of other things. If you wanna have a podcast just already an AI generated podcast of your voice, you can do that. Also, there's examples if you have a co-host and maybe your co-host, you can't get a hold of them. You can have an AI voice of them and then build out the script using chat GPT and have the two voices go back and forth like it's a full podcast and you guys didn't do anything. This, there were just so many opportunities, different ways to do this with your own content for for clients that maybe have limited time, but they want to be able to connect with people, they can scale using AI. I still think it's a good idea to mix and match, like having some real content, but there are tons of ways to use AI in, in your content creation. Another thing is we've used a video that was our best, our most profitable video was part of using AI as well. So there are tons of ways that you can be doing this for your own business. And again, first think about what do you need to do? Are you trying to convert sales? Are you trying to get more leads? Are you trying to just create content for more people to know about you? Having the goal in mind and then deciding on the right kind of tool will really allow you to focus on the right things. There are so many opportunities with AI. It can be overwhelming or there's so many things that you want to do. This is a, a avenue for you to scale your business that makes sense. And if you're interested in taking your skills and diversifying that to make more income based on your skill, we have a brand new course and program that we're working on. The link's gonna be down below, but we're excited to announce it soon. But this is really gonna allow people to diversify their income if they have a skill and they feel like they're hitting a bottleneck, they don't know how to expand, they're trying to look for multiple streams of income, we have something that is coming out very shortly. So the link's down below when it comes out or whenever you're watching this, if it's live, it's gonna redirect to our brand new series that's gonna be premiering. Remember, if you wanna see this step-by-step -step and how to use HeyGen and 11 Labs, we did over an hour breaking down how to use this and the behind the scenes just to show you what we did at the beginning of the video and how you can do this for your own content coming soon. I'll see you in the next video.